AI's military channel. Not having much name recognition with the general public, the X-44 Manta is an F-22-inspired aircraft that looks very different from anything on a drawing board but never flies. This expert explains why it never happened. Way back in 1999, Lockheed Martin had plans for a delta-shaped stealth fighter that bypassed the need for a conventional tail section on the F-22. Manta instead uses a conventional tail section with both vertical and horizontal control surfaces. The Manta aims to utilize thrust vectoring, controlling or directing the flow of engine thrust to give the aircraft the acrobatic capabilities it needs in today's high-end dogfights. More than two decades later, the same concept appears to be found consistently in nearly all of the U.S. Air Force's official renderings of the next air superiority fighter being developed under the Next Generation Air Dominance, now our Next Generation Air Dominance program. The question is whether elements of the X-44 Manta have found their way in the U.S. Air Force for the next fighter aircraft. Last year, the U.S. Air Force shocked the world with the announcement that it had designed, built and tested a prototype aircraft for its next generation air domination program. This new jet promises to be more advanced than any fighter that has come before it. Designed to not only do battle with advanced fifth-generation fighter aircraft turned out to be by America's opponents in Russia and China, but to dominate them for decades to come. Right around the same time, the Air Force also unveiled an image celebrating the anniversary apparently showing the wedge-shaped aircraft without the conventional tail section. Prompting some to wonder if the artist's work has anything to do with the Engad announcement that came a long time ago. Later, other official images came out of the Air Force along with renderings from top airlines such as Lockheed Martin, all showing a red airplane like ship. myself had pointed towards the very capable Northrop, but ultimately passed Black Widow's 23 web as a tacit precedent for this tail design. However, Northrop isn't the only show in town that knows how to build a stealth aircraft without a tail. In fact, based on some artist renderings and practical limitations, developing a new fighter with a short Fuse X-44 Manta may represent an early iteration of what has been or will be at least part of America's next prize fighter in the sky. Manta, or rather, it's an acronym for the intent behind the concept after decades of rapid fighter development. Some things just happen to be considered standard fare for a capable tactical aircraft. Things like conventional tail sections with vertical and horizontal control surfaces, while both the F-22 and later F-35 adopted a slightly different tail than you'd find on a fighter. Stationary fourth generations, like the SS-16 headed by the X-44 Manta, do the without the need for all tail surfaces, without the tail section of the aircraft's radar return would be reduced dramatically, creating an even more stealthy fighter than the American F-22 was capable of. So it makes sense that Lockheed Martin partnered with NASA to talk about how to bring this concept to fruition by successfully creating an acrobatic fighter that can sacrifice using its tail for meaningful handling, relying heavily on using thrust vector control to change course.
NASA already has flight path fighter aircraft, having had a lot of success using thrust vector control on high-performance fighters such as the F-15 Active, which is a modification of the F-15 Evil that uses canard four wings taken from the tail section of an 18ES Hornet and thrust vectoring jets to produce a fighter aircraft that could outperform the legendary Eagle in almost every way it is enough to put in its simplest terms thrust vector control offering the ability to aim or aim a jet engine nozzle on multiple platforms such as the F-22.